We're live. How's it look, guys? Wait for Brandy to get in here. I'm hungry. We're getting ready to go over to what's Vince's new channel name? I came up with it. Our Rustic Life. We're gonna go over there. I made some award-winning chili um, that we take me coming over here. No, it's too hot out there. We're doing right here. I'm live right now. I thought we were going to the port. Mm -mm. Oh. It, we would usually go outside, but it's like, I think it's 90 degrees today and it's hot. All I see is comments on my face. Where's your phone at? You can look at the comments. There's 300 people in here. What's that say? Bumblebee Junction's in the house. Brought to you by the U.S. Marine, number 42. <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up, Brittany? Andrew? Karen, Walker Farm fam, what's going on? I see your, what is that? It's my finger, I'm scrolling oh. through the, I was trying to look at some of the comments about what you read. You probably, did you put on mute or whatever? Yeah. I think We're so. going to go over to um, Our Rustic Life. If you guys don't know, that's my brother. He was good grub almighty, um, but he's doing like farm vlogs and just family vlogs and stuff like that. So if you guys are not subscribed to him yet, go check him out. Did you see Super Chat? No, I haven't seen anything. This is Brandon's, where'd it go? Ah. Brandon's Outdoor Adventures, five dollars. Oh, chat. thanks a lot for Thank that you. super chat. That's awesome. So um, we've been getting tons and tons of. I've had, I've headaches. So I'm you got headaches still? Mm -hmm. You can take some medicine. I did already. Okay. Want to drink this tea? Yeah. Um, we've been getting. We're not. We're probably down about thirty minutes or so. Like I said, we're gonna go over to uh, Vincent's house. Um, but we've been getting tons and tons of uh, messages and comments. If we are going to Jacob's meetup. And um, we actually talked to Jason today, and uh, we cannot make the meetup. Um, we didn't know anything about it until, like, Jason messaged me probably, like, four or five days ago about it. Um, it he said they just kind of just threw it together real quick. It was, wasn't really, like, this huge meetup, but there's a lot of people going to go. Um, and it just, it's a conflict with our schedule. Um, I have something scheduled for that weekend that I've had scheduled for, like, 10 years. We do it every year. And uh, I just cannot make it. So I'm sorry I have to tell you guys that. But we, my family won't be there. And uh, I, I hate to miss miss you guys that are flying in, driving in, all that. Um, maybe in the future we can we can do another one sometime and all get together or something like that. So. Any questions? Where are the children? They're, up, they're upstairs playing. They're outside playing. How are you all from the UK? What's going on? You're doing good. Mine's being weird. Was it not? Well, you don't even need that part. I'm going to do the comments. Oh, there. okay. Can you guys hear us all right? This is the first time I think I've done a live stream at the kitchen table. Hello from Stillwater, Oklahoma. I know, I What's going on, buddy? Outside. No, oh, I'm not going to. Brandy hasn't been outside very much today, obviously, because it is hot out there and windy, windy. You guys wouldn't even be able to hear us in here. I think there's another super chat or something. I didn't see anything. Nope. Not the scroll. Other way. Yeah. Oh, oh Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Making it rain. Oh, he's okay. making it rain. $5 yeah. super chat. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys made me hungry yesterday on your live stream. They're talking about what everyone's having for dinner. Oh, Mark and Tina? Yeah. <clears throat> Is there any questions or anything? Um, yeah, so that hi. sucks that we don't get to go get to go to the meetup. What is it? I said everyone just saying hi. Oh. So, Two sticks. It, it's, they say it's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sticks. Hidden Heights Farms in there. Oh, yeah. Kevin. We haven't got to do a live stream. I still stream just have like a headache, weeks. so. Brady's got a headache, so she might not talk much. I think it's like all this allergies and, ugh. That's why I, I can't do a lot of work at it's the end right now because all the dust over there. You see mm -hmm. all the dust? It's like moon walking on the moon. It's been crazy. So what's what's going on? What's uh, what's even one guy thing going on? Um, the pigs are due to go to the processor at the end of October, and I got some that are going the first week and a half of November. Someone asked it says, "Hey Dutch, are you still doing G uh, BJJ tournaments?" No, I did one. He's not personally. Hayden is. Hayden does, and we can't. She I actually don't. has one coming up. I dropped my cracker. Yeah, I got a whole nother thing on. No, I just did the one because to move up in ranking, which I haven't been since it's been a while, you have to do one tournament. That's the only reason why I even did it was for the ranking. He never gave me my uh, stripe I was supposed to get, so I'm not real happy about it. 
No, you get a stripe and all that help you help you progress. And, but I'm feeling better today. I still got like a slight cough. It's not like like t horrible, but going out there and uh, cutting wood and being in that dust just not helping at all. A lot of people say wear wear a mask while you're out there, but it's, yes, I just don't know how you could. You couldn't be, you couldn't breathe as it you is. You have to do it every other day of your life. Um, it said. Brian's supposed to be keeping up with the comments. Yeah, head home says in there. There was one that I saw. Oh, will you be hunting this year? Yes, and that's the reason why I cannot go to the meetup because um, I'm meeting up with some Marine Corps buddies and we're going to do muzzle muzzleloader hunting this year. We do it every year. I have for like the last 10, 12 years. And it just so happens to be on the exact same uh, <laughs> Saturday as the meetup. Because you got cookie on your right upper lip. <laughs> Brandy does. It's crackers. It's actually starving. it's a cracker. Um, hold on. How is the deer freezer? Pest free? No, he I hasn't put it in there yet. I started vlogging today, and I haven't got a chance to go back out there. We had some stuff come up, um, but I'm gonna maybe I'll show it. But yeah, this I've never seen so so many fiddlebacks in my oh, life. I do not like spiders, especially ones that can hurt you. My mom got bit on her top of her foot years ago, and it literally rotted the top of her foot out. Like all the way to the bone and like that big around. Well, talking about jujitsu, our rest, our jujitsu was coach staff, wasn't it? From a spider bite. Uh oh. It was bad. On his leg. They're asking if we're keeping the small pig. I think so. Oh. I'm actually I'm snacking. I'm hungry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm hungry. <laughs> Mom, big junction. Hey, I'm not giving you these super jet chats back like you told me last night for bug spray. I got some bug spray. Thanks for the five dollars super chat, Mark. Hey, Walker Farm fam, it hasn't been long. More at Homestead. You're talking about the small pig. No, say the, the small pig. I'm actually. I need to talk to Kevin about, it, but I actually kind of want to roast it, and I would like for oh. Kevin and Rachel and them to come out and do it too. Well. And uh, it's it's big enough. It's perfect size to roast. Uh, maybe cook in ground, or I can make a pit. But that's what I've kind of been leaning towards. I've always wanted to do one. I've watched tons of videos, of people doing it, and I just, I think, it, and I've been to several. Um, whenever I was I over. I haven't been to any of them. You've never been to one? Oh my gosh. Well, when we got back from deployment, we came home, and Brent's uh, family actually had one for us there. A pig roast? Mm -hmm. And whenever I was in um, Philippines this last, when did I go? November? I think back in November when I went to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Um, the church actually had a, and I put it in my video, had one. It's so good. <clears throat> Cindy says, my dad torched spiders with a propane wand torch. <laughs> Someone's saying I should have burnt that building down. I thought about it. I've had, that's a walk-in deer cooler. You can put anything. You can hang pigs. And I know. It probably doesn't need to fall. Working now. There's a bunch of air water, though. Do I go on the same one? I don't know. Uh, if it messes up again, we'll probably just call it good, but I don't know why, I don't know it, why it would. Can you guys hear and see us now? Mm. Yeah, there was like 900 people in here. You're back. It says the $10 Mark gave us another one. No, it's someone else. No, it was Mark. Oh, it is. Here for comes everybody. Internet, for better internet. I'm telling you, it's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. I went outside, came back in, and, and reconnected. But what was I talking about? Um, the Philippines, the, the, the pig, yeah, roast. The, pig the pig roast. So they had one in the Philippines for us um, that they do them all the time. They, you drive by on the street and they got these pigs uh, just all over the on the the meat market or whatever. It's probably not that sanitary. <laughs> no, nah, I'm like I seen them all and it's hot, it's hot and humid. And then we were, we were driving by and then we I didn't know where they're having this and we got like, back to the church. You one. And they're, they're having one. that's where <laughs> they went and bought one from there. Um, it was really good and I didn't get sick from it so. I cook it really. That's well. a five dollar super chat from old subscriber showing support. Thank you, Harshman Hills. Hey, that brother, five dollar super chat. But yeah, that and they, that's something they do. Um, they have these church. Um, well, I don't know what you call it. What would you call it? Church. Um, how, how home churches? No, like whenever they all come, like a conference, church conference. Oh. Because a lot of the people from the these people from the Philippines are are really poor, like the pastors and stuff. Pastors and stuff when they come <laughs> when they come what. Yeah. When they when they come back, when they come to this thing that a lot of them don't get protein, they eat just mainly rice for their diet. Well, then they try to do something like that for them so they have protein, all that stuff. 
What is Bo it? said, do you remember the dogs in Vietnam? No, because there was no dogs. So we ate them. <laughs> oh. No, there's some that. Vietnam was, uh. Someone asked what part of the Philippines. Oh, I can't remember. I have to look. I'd have to look it up. I don't remember exactly what what town we was in, what city we were in. It looks like Lily's peeing out there, but she's just she's, sitting she's on, on the point. Floor. I'm stuttering. Hang in there. We will. What? I didn't even see it. Oh, look at some of the comments. Cassie said when she played volleyball in Hawaii, she had roasted pig. Oh, Cassie got to go to Hawaii. She's bragging. No, she. Played. <laughs> I've wanted to go to that Hawaii. That's good. I that would be like awesome. I'd like to go there and I'd eat a pig there. Sherry McMillan, so happy for you guys on the new homestead. Thank Five dollar super chat. Thank you, Thank Sherry. You. We are ready. To... What's it? Are you mad you didn't get to go to Hawaii? We'll go. <laughs> I actually got a buddy um, I met in the Marine Corps. Uh, we were talking one day, and he's like, I don't, I don't know if I told you guys before, but he was like, Yeah, I used to play professional baseball. And it's like one thing, oh, okay, yeah, you played pro ball, now you're in the Marine Corps. He's like, dude, I got a baseball card. I was like, whatever. <clears throat> this is like like right when the internet was, you can actually look stuff up. So we looked him up, and he, he got drafted by the Dodgers. Um, he played some AAA or AA ball for him, but he got himself into some trouble. Anyways, he's from Hawaii. He played baseball for the University of Hawaii. Um, ended up becoming my roommate and uh, my best friend for uh, years while I was in the Marines. I haven't talked to him. He's not on Facebook or nothing. I can't find him. But I do know he got stationed back in um, Hawaii. He's probably out by now. Um, L. Gibson, $5 Super Chat. Have you looked into taking the barn apart for the new pole barn? Hey, thank you, for the, thank you for that $5 Super Chat. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'll leave, the, I'll leave that here. It's just I'm not going to. I'm not going to. We'll, we'll have the funds to do the same thing over there. It would save us probably three thousand dollars or so. But I think too when we we'll get that back when they get it appraised. And yeah, stuff. it'll help. Look at her, that stick. You got a stick in her mouth. When we no, get it appraised, I'm, it'll go towards the value. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with it honestly. That is a good idea. If I was more motivated to get up there and take it all, it's 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 good for the next people. So, um, where was it? Kevin thinks a pig roast sounds like a good idea. Well, hmm? I said Kevin thinks pig roast sounds like a good idea. I've been wanting to do that forever. <clears throat> oh, she said, sorry, you have to tell us what. I saw a couple people ask. Okay, uh, so if you're just jumping in here now, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, there's Farm Off Fanatic. Dutchie, boom, $5 super chat. Thanks a lot, brother. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that I have to tell you guys I cannot make um, Jacob and... Um, Jason's uh, meetup that they're doing um, like Jason said he, he said they just threw it together um, it really wasn't he said it wasn't like really planned out real well it was kind of well, a lot of like people are asking not, not as long of an advance as yeah, like you're, yeah. you were going to do originally so so we can't make it to the meetup if you guys are going um, I was I did tell Brandy um, we'll be ba we'll be back for church on Sunday so if okay. anyone want to come to Grace Life Church and Pryor we'll be there at 9 a.m. so you guys can come uh, come hang out there Any, any questions or anything? Oh, some, where was it? Someone said that they're a respiratory therapist. Randolph's Family Farm. Cool. Where do you live and work? <clears throat> My voice is all weird, too, from Does your head allergies. You're feeling better. better. Dang, Mark, another oh $5 dollar suit. You ain't got to give it all back. You don't back. want this hat. Can leave my hat alone. No, I'm saying it's probably off. got sweat on That's it. That's a good way to get one, too. You, you don't. Leave, leave a man's oh, hat alone. What was the one, too? A one, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Call her out. You don't want that sweaty hat. Why would you take my hat off? Mark said it's the opening bid for it. <laughs> I was just looking at well, it. Well, when we get off here, she's going to get it. Yeah. I was looking to see if there's sweat yeah. there. Yeah, it's a good hat. <laughs> what was that? Jeez. It's behind I don't one. know. Don't mess with me. Brandon thinks she's uh, really good at jiu-jitsu, so maybe we got to get a match going one day. I, well, first of all, you don't punch. I mean, yeah, you do in street jiu-jitsu. Party at Grace Life, Cassie said. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Nine o'clock. Nine? Nine a.m. Oh, small groups. <laughs> they said, Brandon, never touch a man's hat. Who said that? That's someone in there. I was just going to check out the sweat. Any new posts for Dutch Eats? You know, so Brandy's been sick for, she was sick for Gosh. about a week, then I got sick. Um, so we just have not, we haven't had the energy or time to do one. Um, but hopefully this week coming on, we can get a couple out for you guys and talk about the house build and, 
um, where we're going. Um, so we need to get the water hooked up so we can actually spray down all the. I thought of that while I was yes. watching your video. So I want to make some calls tomorrow and get some bids from some people um, so they can come out and at least set it up where I can put a generator on it. Five. <laughs> Simply it? Jan Home said, $5, $5, he'll give Dutch six. She's <laughs> auctioning your hat. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know how many of those you have. Several. I go through them like crazy. There's like five of them behind us. I just need to throw away. Sponsored by that. They should. Hat. He's bought like 10 of them. <laughs> I've bought more than that. You have? I've been wearing it for two or three years. It's kind of... It says, show us your mohawk. I know you have one under that hat. Yeah, what did Wayne Watson say? $600 fake super it. chat. Oh. <laughs> thousand people in here. That's awesome Keto for you. cheesecake. I know. I do want to do that. You I have really... all the stuff to do. Why well, aren't you Hayden doing used, it? Hayden used some of my cheese. cream cheese. Yeah, you can do it more, though. I hadn't felt. I want to see if it's any good or not. If it is, I'll just eat that every day. <laughs> oh, someone's asking about getting a shirt. Um, you have to go to recklesssaintsofnowhere.com, and those were the t-shirts are at. They're still available. Yeah, right? they're still available. We're not very exciting today, guys. Sorry about that. No, feeling hundred percent. Please give us an update. Where? Cindy Brinke, are you going to borrow Jerk Face Junior for breeding her does? No. Uh, I'm not. You have to. Kevin will have a video out on that soon. I think. Um. We're going over to the Vincent's Hidden Heights. Go over to Vincent's. I'll give you that shirt. Kevin got me a shirt too. So will you grab that shirt over there? I'll show it to him. Yes, hold on a second. I was reading something. Ah. What will you do with the planters, Brandy Planter? We could take that one planter with us. The, both of them. Yeah. Um. Where? I don't know. I lost my. Hey, can you tell me I that shirt right there? Place. Oh, where's Gabby? They're, They're all outside. outside. They're, outside They're playing. playing. Just toss it here and I'll show them. Oh. Ah. Wow. Okay. So I got one of Kevin's shirts. I, get, I still have um, the shirt that I got for him. I kind of swapped shirts there. I think it's. Oh, just. I don't hey, Kevin's that. got. Well, he's got like 15 different styles. He'd wear one every time we would do yeah. a video together. He'd wear a different one. one. I'm like, how many designs you got? It's funny. <laughs> he said, put on your new shirt, please. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I'm trying so to read some of y'all's comments. You to sort the wasp nest yet? I took that wasp nest out. I, I actually bought this spray and the other stuff to take care of those. I call them yellow jackets. I think legit yellow jackets are down in the ground, but I'm telling you, those are yellow and they're very aggressive. So they're yellow jackets in my book. <laughs> Lila Newton, $5 super chat. I'll see that bid and raise you a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that super chat. How are you going to hang the deer in the cooler having the. I. What does that say? Cooler with having bombed it with bug stuff. I'm not worried It'll about it. While. It'll be yeah, a while still. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll turn the air. After I bomb it, I'll air it out and I'll run it. And I'll probably run it down right at freezing point, so it's gonna. I'm not gonna be worried about it. You don't leave it in there that long. What? The deer. I hung the deer in there. I like I mean, it's just be, more like if you kill one and then you work that day or that. Well, you know, not necessarily. I, I hang it for a minimum of two days, and I've actually left one in there for nine days. It breaks down the. There's a scientific thing to it when you're hanging this meat and you're aging yeah. it. Yeah. So you can, I don't know the whole, all the details about it, but like like sometimes you just have it in there for, but it's really convenient. Like Mary said, it's really convenient. If we go get one, it's hot right now. I'm going to go hang it for a few days. Like a lot of times if we killed one Sunday evening, I'll hang it and then I'll process it on Friday when I'm off work. So that, that thing has been awesome. Hi guys. Oh, a fellow Hayden. veteran from Glasgow, Scotland. What's up? I want to go to Scotland. Go check out Hayden Riley. She just posted a yeah. epic. What'd you post? What'd you post? A Dollar Tree haul. Epic Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> Hayden Riley on YouTube. What are you eating? We're about to go eat dinner. Nancy Want some Cox. of these crackers? No, I was looking for them. Nancy Cox, five dollars super chat. Thanks, Nancy. Greetings from Jefferson, Oregon. Thanks for your vlog. I love hearing about your family. Thank you. Thank you. How's Oregon doing? Hey, everyone, saying oh, hi. Someone, I think we've missed this a couple times. What kind of pole barn style are you going to show us? What do you what do they mean by style? I don't Maybe know. Maybe just I don't know. Let's Kathleen, what kind what do you mean by style? What do you mean by style? Asking? Um so we if you guys didn't know, we lived in a pole barn house for five years until we built this house. Paid off some stuff. We were able to get the loan for this house and do all that. 
Um, so, and we did, me and my father-in-law and a couple other people, we did probably 70% of the work on in the inside and all that. We I paid someone to do the plumbing, the concrete, and the um, the shell itself, and we did everything. We did pretty much everything else. I'll try to watch for her. David Sherbert, keep it up, keeping it Dutch. Five dollars super chat. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. That. Oh, uh, Miss Hidden Heights Farm. What's up, guys? Five dollars super chat. That's what's Thank up. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. I'll try to watch for that. I don't know if she's meaning. So style is in. We're not the pole barn's not going to be metal. I'll have a metal roof. It'll probably be the same brown color as our other ones. We like that. Um, but we're we're getting a sawmill. And it should be, I looked on the email last night, it's been three weeks. So within the next two to three weeks, we should have the sawmill here. And I'm wanting to cut all the wood siding for the pole barn. So it'll be like a pole barn cabin. If that's oh, something. she said, you said you're going to put one up, same as the one you have, question mark. It'll be the same for the, pretty much, but it won't have the same siding on there. I want to do wood siding, like a little cabin style and different, a little bit different design too, a little bit smaller. What's up, Aiden? What do you got? What is that? Whose is that? Hadley's. You know how to do it? Hadley's. Aiden's got a little pup that I didn't know he needed. Will it have it. an upstairs? Oh, there won't be upstairs to it. So once we can get, I'll, I'll pay, obviously pay someone to do the concrete work. Um, once we get the concrete work, get it, and we can get it dried in, um, I could do most of everything else. Dutch, are you a Marine veteran? Yes. You say yes. Pointing up my hat, Randy was trying to steal from me earlier. I wasn't stealing it. How are the dogs? They're doing they're good. They're doing outside. Uh, tell them about Lily. You thought they one of them killed Lily. No, earlier. there was. Where did that come from? It's from the freezer. From the there was floor. this wadded up little ball of fur, Is like deer, on deer the skin. driveway, and we put me and Hayden pulled up after church, and Hayden was like. Oh my gosh, it's Lily. She thought that, I don't think she got ran over. She thought that Gracie like attacked her or something. And it was like this little ball of fur and we were so scared to walk up to it. Hayden come in about crying. Oh, Lily. And I was like, oh, what are you talking about? And Lily's then right Lily here. comes to run. I was running around the corner. I actually started vlogging that. So it'll probably be <laughs> in the next couple of vlogs. We were worried about her. Yeah, she got a long sleeve shirt on and it's 90 degrees, but I got it set on 69 in here. I wore it to church. Yeah, it's hot. Um, let's see. Are two younger girls getting braces when they're older? Hadley, actually, she has an appliance in, she's our middle one. She has an appliance in her mouth already. I don't understand not, why people even worry about, that's kind of, I kind of, no, I know, but honestly, I, it kind of bothers me when they do because people act like we're mistreating our children with not getting braces. And ha Hallie's already had braces once. Mm -hmm. Now she's got a growth appliance. Yeah, We've spent $10,000 a mouth on that. these girls. Oh, per mouth. Yeah, per mouth. The dentist doesn't think Hope will have to, so that would be nice. We get comments about Hadley all the time. And if 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 you guys say one thing about Hadley, I just block y'all. Like, it's not even if it's, like, it's, you know what I mean? It just gets, it that irritates me. It really does. So I just, I've blocked a lot of people and a lot of kids, a lot of mean kids out there. So you kind of got to, you got to guard your kids. Um, on the on this stuff. You want to say anything? I'm looking. But yes, when they if they need braces, they need braces. Hadley's got a growth appliance, and the, she'll get braces again. Let's see. Rachel, that's so rude. It is. It's very rude. Hadley's a rock star. <laughs> yeah, they're all, they're all. <laughs> She's so funny. Um. The youth need Jesus. Yeah, we all do. Not just the youth. Sometimes kids just don't think when they say stuff, but adults. Well, I don't know how it is when you're a kid. Like you just say mean things because you're just mean. You got any questions or anything? Um, no. Good evening. Someone said good evening, y'all. Good evening. <clears throat> There's thirteen hundred people here. That's awesome. Now they're all in Hadley. Loving Hadley. Okay, so is it Eda Hyde? Eda Hyde? Where? Are you guys going to... I didn't see it. Are you guys going to the YouTubers and prior? No, that's what this live stream was. Um, that's what we're talking about. We're not going to um, Jason and Jacob's meetup. We have plans and we cannot make it. 
Now, I don't know about the other YouTubers. I don't know. I haven't talked to Daniel about it. Um, I'm pretty sure Kevin has family plans too. Not 100% positive. That's something he can address. Um, as far as Daniel coming, Daniel may come. I have no idea. I haven't talked to him about it. Heat wave in California. So it's hot here. It's crazy. Yeah, it's bad. It's like 90. <clears throat> I'm trying to read some of these. Kids learn from their parents how to dress. Oh, true. Listen, Robin Montgomery. Your girls are so cute, and the oldest one reminds my granddaughter reminds me of my granddaughter Riley. Her middle name's Riley, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Are you gonna give your little brother some animal? No, he's. I gave him all the stuff to get animals. He's going to get the animals. I think he's working something out with Walker Farm Fam, isn't he? Oh, I don't know. I think so. To get some some animals, you have to go watch. <clears throat> Combat Carl Fishing. Hello, Jarhead. Bumblebee Junction told on you. $5 <laughs> super chat. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. How's the homeschooling coming, Brandy? How's it coming, Dutch? Brandy kind of, I'm not even going to get into, I'm not gonna get into the homeschooling. You can't. No. No, I'm it's not, going, not going the best. Well, it's not that it's not going the best. It's just that <laughs> it's not going the best. It does. Get, whenever I'm home, it goes great. But then I get phone calls about it. Hayden um, and Hope do pretty good, and Hadley has a doesn't have a very she long definitely space. probably has a little bit of ADD. It's yeah. hard for her to. So I have to isolate. I have to put her in the, in the in home. Whoa, Brandy! You have to isolate. Did you hear? Did you hear that? She just got a. Wow. Uh huh. It's a chair. But anyways, we you have isolate, to isolate her. her. I put her in the uh, homeschooling room that they were doing the homeschooling in by herself, and I go back and check every five or ten minutes, and that seems to help a bunch because anything going on around Hadley's got to look. I, I was I was the same way when I was a kid. Um, so other than that, it, it's going pretty good. Um, other than the fact that Hadley just needs a little bit more attention than the yeah, other and it's hard um, with them not doing it since they were first starting school so they're used to having a different structure Hayden's like Miss Wallace she writes everything on the board and explains everything I'm like well there's three of you and there's five subjects that's 15 things that's not happening what was the thing that you <laughs> so, said about that not liking her teacher no someone asked Hadley when which you guys know Hadley so she's hilarious someone asked her joking one day they said so how do you like your teacher this year and she goes mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like seriously <laughs> teacher's her mom but, no, we've talked about going back to their private school. We're considering some stuff. Just because this year we we didn't have a problem with their school at all. We loved it. It was just the unknown of how the COVID stuff was going. So that's a possibility, too, which wouldn't be bad. They love their school and their teachers and I guess more than their mom teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you like your Hadley teacher? Just, no, Hayden and Hope would be like, we love her. And Hadley goes, oh. Yeah, I don't know. You, want the, you want the real, you want the truth? <laughs> Your mom ain't gonna like this. <laughs> <laughs> we butt heads with our school. Someone said they're hundred percent off grid. I couldn't catch I it. I just moved it. real quick. I didn't see it. I don't know where it went. How are the goats doing? Go goats are doing great. I'm excited to get them out there. I'm I don't yeah. wanna jump the gun, but I do think that they would like it. Out there. I don't want to move the animals out there until we're living out there just because coyotes and other things literally not. just hanging out right there. Um, but it would be nice. I actually thought about putting Premier One fencing out there. I got two rolls of it and then maybe taking my trailer out there and that could be their house. Let them do little areas. But I honestly, I learned, I learned from that mistake whenever we bought this 10 acres. I had pigs out here and during the winter we wasn't able to get um, out here one day to, to bust their water. In pigs, I don't know if you guys know this about pigs, they can dehydrate. I didn't know that. Within 20, 24 to 48 hours. And uh, we lost one of our pigs because of that. And I said, I'll never again put animals on a place that we're not living on. Randolph, I just crack up at the <laughs> Randolph Stanley Farm. We are homeschooling this year and it's a disaster. <laughs> our youngest has some ADD and I can see it now. Distractions all day long from her. Um, Mary. La Rochelle, nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, this lady. So you want me to tell? Vicky them? says I'm a retired teacher and I couldn't teach my own. Two. You different. want me to tell them the story about you saying I can't work two days a week because I got a homeschool? You can go for it, but it was just the time. Right, so I think I it got scammed. The, it was the timing of it. It yeah. wasn't. But he can tell. So him, gonna, he can talk about his scam. I'm gonna, I think I got scammed, guys. I got played. Yep. So Brandy 
calls me, I think, and I don't know. We were just talking about she's it. She's like, I can't, I can't do the homeschool with the girls and work two days because we we bumped our schedule for three down to two last year. Last year, <coughs> and, I will defend myself. Hold on, let I me will tell, defend myself. But one day a week, some uh, people are like, "Ooh, one day a week." One no, day, let me listen, tell the story first. On, Twelve hours of working. But I have to drive to Tulsa. They don't care. So it's 15 hours. So that's literally your entire day. It's not like a little six. Anyways. That, that, 15 hours that, is one day. Anyway, so Continue. she, she uh, hits me up, calls me, or we, I don't remember. But she said, I don't think I can homeschool the girl working two days a week. So we looked at our finances and talked about it. I'm like, well, if you're going to homeschool them and all that, I, I think. I can't see my face. You're right there. <laughs> I, I think we'll be able to. Um, we could probably make that work. We could probably make that work where you're home, you're homeschooling them. You just got to work one day a week. Um, I like hearing his side. Yeah, so we work one day a week. And I was like, so we ended up doing the numbers and everything. It was like, you know, let's let's try it. I'm telling you guys. So her schedule. Her- listen, listen let me tell you. It was the timing. So, so she gets her. They had a, they created a new position for you her. You have to apply for it. And they gave her the one day a week <laughs> starting in October. And uh, Dude, this week was only the first week, wasn't it? Like Last two week. weeks ago. Uh, so it was. It was literally. Like it had she been got approved. she got it approved in like the next day. I can't homeschool these kids. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I just looked at her. I'm like, are you serious? And I was like, I'm mad about it. I'm like, really? You don't think we, you literally just taught me letting you go to one day a week, and now you can't homeschool these kids? No, we had been. T- talking about it it took a while to get approved and then we didn't start school like that day so three four weeks into school i'm like this is not going so well i'm telling you i got scammed on this deal so he acts i said like, you need to go back to work two days a week then he acts like it was signed contract and then i'm like homeschool is over. absolutely it was <laughs> i mean i got played big time and then i said all right let's send this kid the kids back to private school and uh, you gotta go back to work full time. That job's taken. No, oh, they can get you another one. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy. 2020 has been a crazy year for everybody. What uh, are people saying? See, Rachel says, "I knew you were smart, Brandy." Yeah, hey, I'm. <laughs> tell you what. What's she eating? Only 79 degrees in San Diego. That sounds awesome. Yeah, like San Diego always had great weather. <clears throat> Do you have remote learning? No, um, our school. Our specific school that they'd be going back to, it is just well. Actually, they have been doing remote a little bit, a couple of kids. Oh, yeah. yeah, we would just have them go back if that's what they miss is people. Oh, this is funny. Bobby Yance. My daughter said, "Mom, I wasn't. Mom, I wasn't meant to be a home, or her mom wasn't meant to be a homeschool teacher." It takes a lot of yeah. You know, patience. I don't have a problem with it. I have the patience to do it. But I just don't know all the answers like Hayden's homework and math. He has more patience, but I'm like, Dutch, she's in sixth grade. She's in sixth grade. I'm Come telling you guys, now. and you guys you guys will side with me on this. Let it's me show you some different. of Hayden's math, and you guys will be like, I don't remember that. I haven't done math in 25 years. <laughs> I was like, just back. He's like, he has a lot more now, patience. Now, spelling, I'm a spelling champ. Now, no. I can... Just have a spelling no, contest right now. They can look at you. <laughs> they can look at your descriptions and know you're not a spelling champ. That's not true. <laughs> not true. Hallie's actually a really good. Speller. Hallie's a very good speller, and penmanship is like on point. Yeah, she does a great job. But yeah, no, you're gonna stick with YouTube, and you're not a speller or a math. Whoa, what's that? What are you talking about? You're not a speller or math. <laughs> Tell you what, see what I deal with, guys. Uh, yeah, she says, Deb says, read the instruction book they have the night before and brush up. It would be like constant. Yeah. What's that say? <laughs> Cassie. What did she say? Homeschooling's a breeze. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's been some pretty funny memes going around. Thank you, Mark. What Mark said. Brandy has been homeschooling Dutch for years. His education continues here now. Mark, really? You know better than that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I agree, Rachel. If Brandy's working less, she can help more with the second channel. See how that's going. She ain't posted in 10 days. I've been sick. I've got a cheesecake coming up uh, for you. What's that say? Still have not received sponsored t-shirt yet. I've said something to Vincent. 
and Let's still see. yet get with it. Oh, we'll ask him tonight when we go eat chili. I'm gonna screenshot, screenshot that. I asked him. How long ago did you order it, Lila? They took a bunch of shirts. Um, he actually dropped them. Because mom got of shirts hers off. pretty quick. I well, um, I don't know his email. Go over to his last video he posted and leave him a comment. And then when we go over over to his house, we'll tell him to check that comment. Well, and, and I screenshotted it. Well, I can have him check her name. Maybe he can email her or something through there. Yeah. Or hit him up on face on his Facebook. But I have. I'm sorry if there's been a delay. I have absolutely zero yeah, control. Yeah, we don't send them out or over anything. that. That's the record. Definitely sense still of tell us though, because yeah. we can ask. We can definitely ask for you guys. But. Okay, so I don't know if Tina's still on here. Mark can tell her. Ever since I have never tried split pea soup in my entire life, and I was at work yesterday getting ready to leave, listening to their live, and now I want split pea soup. So I like looked up a recipe and everything. Are you gonna try that? It? Tina said that's her favorite soup. I got a recipe. Tina does a great job. Mm -hmm. Tina does a great job over there. Cooking. Everything. Gardening. Mark's kind of a slave driver. I ain't gonna say nothing, but he's always got Tina doing everything. <laughs> what? He's gonna bop you. Well, we gotta get off here. If you guys got any questions, oh, put them in the kind of helps. Because the video came out quite a while ago. Cassie said that she got her shirt about a week and a half ago, and she ordered the day they came out. The video came out. Okay. So that might take a couple weeks. Then. Yeah. It sounds like. But we're, we got to go over to Vincent's, and uh, we're having a little family get-together over there to eat. Um, I might take my camera over there. What TC Games say? Who? TC Games. Oh. Heck, my sixth grade teacher told me while buying a puzzle, I can't read or write and ever amount to anything. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go over there, and we're going to eat. I'm, I'm doing a test run on my award-winning chili. And uh, once, once the um, we do... The chili cook-off for the at the church. I think it's like in two weeks, two or three weeks. You better not be giving details on your then, bows. Then I'm here. gonna give you guys my recipe on why it's so awesome. I actually hooked Kevin up with some. He made some last night. Kevin, was the chili any good? Oh, I mean, you did. I gave him a pack of the oh. seasoning. Kevin's asking when the time changes. I heard it's on Halloween. I'm not sure. Someone said it was like crazy because it's on Halloween and there's a full moon and so it's. Kevin said the chili was great. Rachel, was it good? Did Rachel like it? She said it was awesome. Yes, we're it's, winning. It's, I'm telling you, it's the best. You're going to win the golden spoon. That ain't no big deal. It ain't my first time. <laughs> I got golden it somewhere. Spoon. No, I've won a couple times, just saying. But this, I've never used this recipe, and it's There's no Halloween this year. Awesome. What? Where? That's what, Rachel, or that's what Kevin said. Really? We're having Halloween. They said I ate it again for lunch or dinner. All right, we're going to get off here, guys. I don't see any more questions. Do you see any questions about anything? I don't think so. we gotta go. We got to go eat. And uh, we'll have a vlog out in the next couple of days. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream. And thanks for jumping on. And thanks for the thanks super Thanks for chat. coming back after we... Yeah, sorry about that little five-minute delay. But we'll catch you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's live stream.